welcome back to another Velgody Observer video and in this video I'm gonna be talking about something all of you are going to love it's disease everybody loves disease disease is a big thing but not all diseases are bad because this one's good I made a good disease this disease is called the crabs <laughs> actual crabs and the simple name really it's uh it's it's quite mysterious it's quite a simple name too and nobody knows much about this i called it the crabs because it's inspired by how people like actual people that live here on earth just name sicknesses in such simple ways like every every well not every sickness a lot of sicknesses just have simple names oh i got a cold i feel sick or I went diving the other day and now I got the bends. I feel like shit and I ate human brains and now I have kudu. I'll keep trembling and laughing for two years and then I'll die. I went to the gym but I didn't warm up, whatever. And now I'm, I've got cramps. Well, this sickness, but this sickness, okay? What you did is in my world, you went out for a swim, or swim at sea, skinny dipping, whatever. But you went a little too far out or for too long and guess what now you have the crabs <laughs> i've got a little uh, i've got a little scenario here for example so imagine your dad says this to you oh you know i'm gonna go out to catch some fish and you're like be careful daddy and then you will be back soon and then the other day well not the, other, the next day you see your dad washed up ashore you're like dad dad oh no you come over here you're like your dad like no dad what happened to you did you die and then you turn over you oh she just got the crabs you know no big deal then so that's about what it makes people feel when you have the crabs in my world now for, for more context there is actually a tribe that lives along some coast and i haven't named them or designed them yet but I did come up with this disease and a sort of lifestyle that they'll be having. And they live somewhere that has this crazy mysterious disease called the crabs. And nobody knows how you get them, but it definitely came from the sea. And mostly people who get, who get it are people who go out to sea, uh, like fishermen, or maybe you're just, you live on some little island off the coast maybe but whatever it is people who happen to just be out far out in the sea whether you just you, you actually live there or you're visiting you tend to get the crabs and there have been people who have gotten the crabs people who live right at the beach in like a beach house or something but even though they don't go out to sea, maybe it's because it's one of the wives or kids or like whatever, like someone who's not physically capable, maybe they've been sick all their lives. Nobody really knows why, but sometimes, in some occasions, they have gotten the crabs and people don't have a problem with it. It's fine, like, oh, you got the crabs? That's fine. It's just like any other day of the week for them. And what this thing does, what this disease does, is it turns you into a crab slowly. And by slowly, I mean about a couple of weeks. And that's not actually a bad thing because you still live on with your human mind and consciousness. You still remember everything. You can still function. It's like pretty much a mind transplant from a human body, but to a crab. And why is that good? Because this disease, well, subjective good i guess that's good because this disease allows you to live forever and i took the theory of how lobsters could just they can live forever pretty much as long as they don't get sick or they don't get eaten i mean if you're a crab and you live among people i can always like eat i mean they can take care of you right they can take care of you they're, they're not gonna eat you but if you even if you do get sick then no problem you'll just get better because people will take care of you and there's just this village, <laughs> this one village that's in the middle of nowhere that strangely lives with a bunch of crabs of different shapes and sizes. And if you turn into a crab, because you got the crabs, you, you can even keep molting and molting and get bigger each time, every year. And the biggest ones will mean that they've lived on for a very, very long time. And that, that's the interesting thing 
because uh, you can not only live on as a crab but you can become many crabs so the concept is if you get the crabs somehow one day you went out to the ocean for too long and you came back and you found that you got the crabs you can actually turn into many versions of yourself you're not going to be turning into one crab all the time like this that's not always the case sometimes you can turn into many crabs so it's like having twin siblings out of nowhere you're cloning yourself so one day there's only one of you and then two weeks later there's five of you or something because you split into five different crabs and they all have the exact same mind and memories as you so imagine if your boyfriend or something he got lost at sea and he never came back but a month later he comes back as like six boyfriends like you know you have six you know <laughs> rejoice so i showed this to a friend of mine also and he mentioned this one video by lindsay nicole where everything just turns into crabs and i thought oh you know what i remember seeing that video and actually it's actually good to know that this conveniently seems accurate although when i was making this i was actually simply inspired by how squidward <laughs> turned into a snail in that one spongebob episode like you remember that one where he just went wow 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 and <laughs> at the end of the video patrick just whacks him with a boot that's pretty much the only inspiration for this disease of mine so it'll also be funny if like a somebody somebody from outside a traveler or a drifter or whatever they went to this coast and they've just found so many crabs and they decide to eat them all well you know what to without they, they didn't know like they're just eating crabs and then you get to <laughs> their village hey guys um I, I just got here like two weeks ago. Uh, you, 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 you got any quests for me to do? And he's like, yeah, we've been missing a bunch of villagers for two weeks. I was like, whoops. Okay, I'm going to try to find them. And then you just leave and never come back. <laughs> so what people like to do in this village is also when they get old, they're about to die. You know, when people get old, they eventually die. What they do is they sort of just go for a swim. They go for a swim out in the deep sea, you know, they say bye bye to everybody. But if they get lucky, they'll just come back as a crab. So it's kind of like a ritual of prolonging life out of desperation, you know, because we're all morals. And also only depends on luck, you know, because you don't, nobody really knows how you get it. And you keep your memories, yeah, sure, but nobody ever remembers actually getting the crabs. So you either just somehow realize you got them or you just pass out at sea and then you wake up when you're washed up ashore already in carcinization I think it's called it's when you turn into a crab and it won't be so bad you know like living as a crab because you get to stay you the only difference is you're in crab form and you live forever you get to breathe underwater you you get to live among people still because you're still you you can't even talk you know you can think like a person you just you're in the form of a crab that's it uh like even if you're an on, also like if you're an only child well this is the chance you know if you swim out to sea you might just come back and you can have two of you now now you have a twin sibling and even maybe maybe it's even a way to run away from your responsibilities although i don't know what kind of responsibilities you're gonna have in my world as a human anyway because it's sort of going to be this dark fantasy primeval slash prehistoric type of world right so i guess instead of just working hard to hunt or farm food now you can just eat moss you can just dive into the ocean and just eat moss and then you come back when you're full and then you sleep on your bed with your i don't know family or something so what do you think about the crabs huh would would you think it's actually going to be fun to live as a crab would you like to live as a crab let me know and oh i'll also talk mainly well not mainly i'll talk about the technicalities of what i did of course initially you saw earlier that i made like a head design of just a bunch of crab parts appearing out of nowhere and if that's actually part of how the carcinization process starts it's just like sp 
parts of you just start to transform into a crab or just crab-like parts start to come out of you. It's either in one place or it's coming out out of many different places. And if it comes out of many different places, let's say there are three prominent looking ones that really look crabby, you're probably going to split yourself into three different crabs. But if there's only one, and then there are like four other spots that kind of look crabby but not really but then you'll probably just turn only into one and those other spots will just like brought away once you burst out of your own body and the strange thing is you don't actually bleed even if you're in the midst of turning into a crab this carcinization process like if you get hurt while well, you're still kind of looking human you won't actually bleed, which is very strange. So it's kind of like a, it's not like a xenomorph bursting out of your chest type of messy, you know, you still look clean, kind of like you're just cracking open some seafood. <laughs> you just look clean. It's like a clean type of, uh, I don't know, dying, I guess. And it's, I think it's kind of creepy because when a human being is hurt or when a human being is supposed to burst open then you would expect them to be all messy and red right but in this case they don't actually turn messy and red they just remain clean and you can also look at this one picture in the center is actually a close-up of how you would look like when you fully transformed into a crab and on the right side this is one of the uh, other examples of just like a crabby looking part coming out of your body and in this next picture you see a human being in the process of carcinization this is happening in real time and i'm not talking about 10 million years it's actually happening in the course of two weeks and this guy he looks about ripe you know he looks about ready he's about ready to burst open into i've labeled it see one two three four uh, the first part is on the head, like over there, crab legs coming out of his one eye socket and his one eyeball is actually dangling off and there's this one crabby looking eye sticking out so that part is probably going to turn into a crab and the second part is on the shoulder, on his left shoulder. Now that really looks like it's going to look also, it also looks like it's going to turn into another crab because it looks uh, it looks solidified, you know, like a crab shell. And in the middle of his chest, what looks like antennae or like legs with a mouth, that's also going to turn into another crab. And the other one is on the lower side of his and the right side of his belly, the right side of his belly button. That actually looks like, oh, it's going to turn into another crab and uh, this also means you're not going to necessarily turn into four looking, uh, looking crabs. Four looking, what's the word again? Four similar looking crabs, identical looking. You can look like four different crabs, but they're all still you. And you can see here on his other shoulder, there's this part that kind of looks crabby, but not really. And then there's on the other side of his belly button. Uh, right here, there's this part that sort of looks like it's uh, forming a tumor, but it's not really going to turn into anything. And you can also see the pattern in which he's going to burst open. See, it starts below the chin. There's like a crack forming and then where his shoulders are, like on his, the left shoulder, there's also a crack forming there. And, and there's another crack forming towards the right side to the crab number four. So he's going to just burst open uh, following that uh, crack and he's not going to be messy looking when he does that. He's just going to smell like the freshness of the sea, you know what I mean? Like seafood. And in this last picture is actually a picture of what you would look like, at least an example of what you would look like when you fully transform into a crab. You can see there. Uh, there's like a jawbone still looking human and then some of the teeth are actually human although they have been warped and they don't uh, and the gums too still human gums although they've been like a, what's the word like it's a, a dentist would not like looking at this because it's just uh, warped and wrong looking and there's still a human tongue dangling 
right there uh, beneath the what you call it mandibles is it what crab mandibles whatever and the eyeballs they're looking crabby but not not quite they're still eyeball like human eyeball looking and look at the legs the legs are really cool looking the legs are actually finger shaped with elongated unkept looking toenails and you can keep on molting and you'll get bigger and bigger and bigger Maybe I'll even implement a super old crab that serves as a village elder or something. And they can't really keep on turning into crabs all the time because then they'll run out of humans. You know, so it will always be a bunch of humans living amongst crabs. Like, I don't really know if you can debunk them not being able to live on without humans or anything. But I know for certain that I want to keep it so that it looks like a bunch of humans living alongside crabs and I'm just gonna try to make up whatever sort of reason that could match my intention because I want humans living alongside crabs and instead of just a bunch of humans completely turning into crabs and it'll just be crabs in the end only like I want them to be humans with crabs and I'll find a reason for it but I haven't found a reason for it yet and I'll be revealing that when I have further explorations especially when I further explored the village and its people and it'll probably be also be when I will be announcing my actual world to you guys so stay tuned for that don't forget to commission me or buy me a coffee on Kofi. Uh, hit like comment down below subscribe so you don't miss out if you have any questions i'll try my best to answer there's a lot of links you can click in the descriptions below they're really really fun links if you click them you'll be very happy <laughs> but anyways that'll be all for my video today and i'll be seeing you in the next one bye bye